welcome to my channel if you're new here welcome and if you're not welcome back okay today we have a well this video is gonna be a long time making I'm gonna do it over like the course of a week or two but if you've watched my last video or like a couple videos before or whatever you know that I have been accepted to have a booth at a craft fair and I'm so excited it's my very first craft fair makers market thing I have never had a booth at, a, at an event selling my crocheted stuff before so this whole thing's gonna be like a new process for like me and if you're curious about the process and you want to you want to get a booth and you have no idea what to do I'm gonna walk you through the whole thing and um We'll really be learning together because I have no idea what I'm doing, but I did sign up for this um, and I have zero stock. Um, I think I am going to go through a bin of like stuff I've crocheted that I haven't sold on my Etsy and see if any of it I want to put on my table so that we'll at least start some stock there. But before I do that, I did order some stuff. Also, this whole series, I'm going to be crocheting to prepare the things. I'll show you the stuff I buy to like prepare for my little like booth setup. I have to have my own tables. I have to have like all my own stuff. Um, there's nothing there. So I am gonna rent tables from my parents and their like canopy thing. I don't have like displays to go on the table or like tablecloths or literally anything. Like bags to put things in when people buy stuff. So I've so, like so much stuff to buy. Um, but I'm gonna take you all through it. So hopefully if there's something I buy and you're like, oh, I almost forgot to get that from my booth, okay? So, I did get a box from Amazon that I already ordered some stuff to kind of get started. And I wanted to open it up and go through it a little bit. I am wearing my favorite pair of jeans today. So, I feel like a million bucks. I'm dressed because I'm going to work, but I'm also, um, I'm going to stop on my way to work and buy Tupperware, storage Tupperwares from Walmart to put the stuff I'm crocheting in. Because, one, I need to store it somewhere and I need some way to, like, carry it to the vent and I don't want to get cat hair on anything or like dust so I am gonna be storing everything in plastic containers but I don't have any so the only one I have is full of stuff that I've crocheted throughout the years that I haven't sold yet so I want to go get some of those today before we start crocheting but when we do start crocheting I'm gonna be showing you everything I'm crocheting and I'm gonna link like so say I make if I make a couple things in this video the ones I make in this video, the patterns and the tutorials will be linked in the description box if you also want to make it too. And I think this is going to end up being a series. I haven't decided yet, but the craft fair is about a month away. So we have like a couple weeks of this. So I think I might do like a video a week or something, just a series preparing for the market. But I don't know if I'm going to have enough filming to actually like make this a series. I don't know. But these are... Okay. Okay, perfect. Oh, they're styrofoam. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna leave these wrapped in styrofoam until I use them, but I'll show you a picture from Amazon. I got these acrylic stands to put, like, a QR code in for my Etsy or, like, little signs, you know? Um, so I'm gonna use those for that. Oh, perfect. And then I got a, like, variety pack on Amazon. Also, I'm going to link everything I bought down there, too. So if you need to buy any of the supplies for your market, um, you see me open it and you want to buy it, I'll put a link down in the description box for everything I show, basically. I didn't think of that, but I'll do that, too. So I got a variety pack of bags to put the items in when they sell. So we've got, like, a medium. We should have, a, like, a medium, a small and a large yeah okay so here's the small and then the medium and then there's a larger one at the bottom but i'm not gonna pull it out but okay so that's good i think i'm good with bags i don't know how many i bought but oh 120 total that's big small and medium all together 120 i feel like that's enough um i'll have to buy more basically what i'm gonna do alice was eating the plastic Basically what I'm going to do is after everything's made, I'm going to count everything. So if I sell every single thing one at a time, I need to have a bag for all of it. So if I make more than 150 items, then we need to order more bags. But until then, I'm just going to 
live with what I already got. But yeah, I'm so excited. I've started a Pinterest board kind of collecting patterns and things that I think I want to make for this this market. The market theme is marching into spring. So the ideas are very like floral, spring colors, bright colors. No beanies, no leg warmers, no arm warmers, nothing with for cold weather because we're it's we're going into warm weather. So it's kind of like spring summer crocheted stuff. Amidst all this, probably towards the end of the vlog series of preparing, I'm gonna make a 50 market item crochet idea video, um, just showcasing everything that I made for the market plus stuff that has been recommended to make for a market. Um, in a 50 idea video so they will all be like cohesively in that video but these vlogs are mostly going to be the patterns and tutorials I'm doing in this video so it can be like 1 to like 10 I don't even know no idea what I'm doing and I'm freaking out because this month is going to be so busy for me so I haven't really talked about it much but I am getting my my master's degree right now in teaching and that also has the end goal of like getting my teaching credential involved in it and I'm towards the end of my schooling I guess um, I'm towards the end of it and I'm starting to get to the part where I have to do student teaching and my observation too so basically I have to do 75 hours of observation in classrooms in a classroom um, before I can start my student teaching and my student teaching is three months full-time teaching unpaid so yeah so this coming month where these videos are gonna be filmed I'm doing my observation hours, which is 75, basically 80 hours of full time being in the classroom, um, unpaid. Uh, <laughs> just want to make that clear, unpaid. Um, so that on top of like my other jobs I do. So it's going to be very, 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 very stressful. And I cannot believe I signed up for this craft fair before I, before I was told that I was going to be doing my hours this month. So yeah. Um, luckily this craft fair happens before I student teach so we don't have to worry about that but the month of February is gonna be a wild month and I'm gonna take you along with me okay so I'm dressed oh you guys want to see my outfit today this year I'm trying to like actually make outfits when I get ready because a lot of the time I just like throw clothes on and I want to be an outfit girly I got this vest when we went to Anaheim and I'm just trying to wear things. So I've got, oh my god, I've got these jeans I thrifted. These are um, not Uggs. I can't afford Uggs, but these are like the dupes on Amazon for 60 bucks. I can link them down below if you want them. And then um, this long sleeve was thrifted, and this was from a, I forgot. What the shop was called but it's like a little shop in like the um downtown disney shopping area or whatever that's where i got this but yeah and these sunglasses are no idea i think i thrifted them but anyway it's my outfit and now i'm gonna go i'm gonna go to walmart and get bins and then go to work and then come back and then i'll update you i'll show you the bins i got and then i think tonight we're gonna go through the stuff i've already made over the years and pull stuff out that i think i can sell at this market to start my stock okay so that's what we're gonna do that's the plan today I'm back home from work these are the bins I picked up they're huge let me just show you oh I almost dropped my camera lovely I got three of them this is how big they are me holding them so I figured three was a good amount so that's how many I got and while I was gone my square came in the mail and I'll open it but it's one of those um things that will let me take card payments at my booth so I'm gonna open this but I also got another Amazon box so we're gonna open that it was raining today so my hair is a little messed up but I changed into comfier clothes and now we're gonna open the packages I got today because I know it's all craft fair stuff so first we got our square I'm gonna also test this out just to make sure it like works oh it's very cute Kind of reminds me of Apple. Look, it's little. It takes tap and you can insert card too. So, I was reading on all of the um, all of the Facebook groups I'm in that like they get like 90% of their orders are card orders, and if they if you don't accept card, you're gonna, you're not going to get as many sales as you want. So, I got one of those. 
Again, I'll link everything I got down below in case you want to get something for your market. I got these little mini... Oh, there's even a little pen. I got these mini um, chalk signs. They have little stands on them too. And I got a bunch of them just to like lay out next to things to put pricing. And because I don't want to use actual chalk because I feel like it doesn't show up right, I got these chalk markers to have colorful pricing signs. So that's fun. And then I also got um, more acrylic sign holders. So I showed you the ones earlier today. Those were like the paper size, like 8 by 11. They were like huge. And then I started thinking like, I don't know if I really need that big one. So I also got smaller ones. I'm not going to pull it all out of the bubble wrap, but they're 5 by 8s. So perfect just for like a little whatever QR code or like we accept credit cards or something like that, you know, for my booth. And then this is what I'm excited for. I got two of them, but they are um, keychain stands or like earring stands, but I bought them to, to put my um, keychains on. So I'm actually going to build these because I need to make sure that they look right. If that makes sense, like they actually work and do what they're supposed to do. So I'm going to build them and then put them back in the box. Okay, I built it. It's actually kind of perfect. I got a white one because I like how crochet looks against white more than I do black and my table is going to be white. So these are actually like, you can move them around and if someone's like grabbing something off, it's not, it's not going to come off and they don't really slide. So that's cool. I set them up like this because I think that's how long my keychains are going to be. I'm going to go check my bin and see if I have a keychain I can test out on it. Okay, so I only have three keychains to kind of test it out, but this is perfect. It's literally like so perfect. I'm also doing sewn stuff like um, sewn crafts and crochet crafts. So I'm also going to have these wristlets and these are all I have left in stock. So I'm going to restock them, but I got two of these boards. So I think I'm going to do one of crochet and the other one's going to have these wrists, but I need to see if like these wristlets fit because they're longer. So I might just have to, okay, that fits. Yeah. Like, okay. Like look, see how the wristlets are longer. So, but I'm like this row, they fit good. So what I'll have to do is I'll have to do them like rows like this and rows on the lower part. I don't know. I don't know. They're really long. So far, this thing is literally perfect. It's like exactly what I need. So I got another one too. Okay. So I'm charging the square before I test it. But while we do that, since I have an actual like bin storage for everything I'm taking, I'm going to go through this Tupperware, which actually, this is the Tupperware of everything I've ever made that I haven't sold or like got rid of or just kept, you know? Some things aren't for sale, but I just like I made for videos, but I'm going to go through it and see if there's anything that I can sell at the market and put it in this bin and then inventory it so I know kind of where I'm starting out. So I know that I want to sell these wristlets I sew. And more keychains. So those are going in the cell bin. Do you guys remember this? I made it for a video. Okay, I'm not selling that. Because I think I'm going to save this for like a Ren fair market or something. So I'm going to keep it. I'm also going to keep my clicker Halloween costume. But I am going to sell scrunchies. So let's put the scrunchies I do have made in the bin. I'm not going to sell leg warmers because it's a spring in March. But these bags are already made and I already lined them and put my company logo on them. So they are definitely being sold. I could sell this bag. I just have to finish it. So I'll put it over here, but I need to finish it still. So maybe I'll make a bin of like projects I'm still finishing. I don't know. It's like a little market bag. I could sell this. This is cute. And then I already have market bags made. I have a really big one made. That's gonna be sold. And then we have this tan one. 
I think it's the smaller size. And then we have another smaller size one. I did not realize how much I already have made. We have these little frogs. I think these would be cute. I like a three or five dollar little bin or something. Um, there is a stingray. I'm gonna try and sell that. A little mommy daughter bucket hat combo. This is kind of cute. I could sell these. These were one of my first couple projects. They are so, no, they're sentimental, so I'm not gonna sell them. Also, oh my God, I forgot. This is a lanyard. I forgot I can literally make lanyards too. And we have some bikinis I made. I'm not selling those. Um, this is one of like the first little lanterns I made. I love this lantern. I kinda wanna sell it. Wouldn't that be fun to sell? Lanterns. I can make that's cute. You put a battery operated candle tea light in this little tea light holder, and then it's literally a little candle thing. Cute. Um, I have a sweater I made, I'm keeping that. These are wine cozies. Again, we're doing spring, so this is cute. It's one of those like head wrap scarves. Oh, and we have fidget keychains. So I'll make some more fidget keychains too. And then this is my like first big lantern I did. And it literally has like beads on it, but it's so janky. Like I feel like it's like, I didn't really weave in these ends very nicely cause I wasn't planning on selling it. Um, but I am gonna hang it in my room because I just remembered I have it. So. That's it. That's literally everything I'm gonna take. I think I'm gonna do, I was gonna hand write everything in like an inventory, but I think I'm gonna do like an Excel spreadsheet so I can kind of keep track of like prices and how much I'm spending on material and things like that. But as for everything that is staying here, we now know what's staying here. And I just reminded myself how many things I can know how to make that I can sell, that I can make more of, so. Okay, so these prices might change, but I did an inventory of everything I already have made that I'm planning on taking with me to the market and like the price I'm thinking of selling it at. So total right now, this is how much money that we have in the inventory to sell. But I don't know, I might kind of move these around. I feel like they're a little too high, I don't know. But I just want a good variety of prices. But so far this is all we got, so. So I had a little bit of free time today, or tonight I guess. And I tested out a pattern for an item that I'm thinking of taking to the market with me. This succulent plant. Succulent plant, very cute. It stands on itself. It's very adorable. And it's actually four coasters. I don't want to put it on my bed because I don't want cat hair. But it's four coasters, four fit in here. And then you just kind of fold them up and you put them together. And it literally is a succulent and i love this so i think i'm gonna make more for the market but i did finish this one and i'm gonna put it in the bin but i just wanted to keep you guys updated on what i'm making also i will link this pattern in the description box too okay so i couldn't sleep so i made the monstera plant version of the succulent thing i already showed you this is the pot and i did two different colors because it's more like I don't know, cuter and like I guess a little more accurate to the plant. Um, but the actual like coasters look different. So with the succulent, they're like circular, and then with this one, it's like actually like a leaf as a coaster. So I think that's really cute. So it took me about an hour to make this. I think I'm gonna sell them for 15 bucks. It's a coaster set of four, but I'm done for the night. I'm going to bed, but I will also link this pattern. In the description box too i'm linking everything so i'm probably gonna stop saying that but everything i show you i'll link i made a sunflower version of the other ones i've been making um this one the pot kind of has like little leaves it's kind of cute and the coaster is a sunflower so super cute i love this one i think so far this one and also there's four coasters in a set I think so far this one and the Monstera Leaf one are my favorites. i um, not so sure about the succulent one, but I like these ones. Hi. Okay, so the last couple days... Huh. I guess I spilled Diet Coke on this shelf at some point. Okay, anyway. Ivy propped up in my bookshelf. Um, but, so, if you've noticed the last 
couple days I've been working through a bundle pattern I bought on Etsy of like different um plant based flower plant based coaster sets okay it was a four pattern bundle I've done the um succulent one a monstera plant and the sunflower one you you've seen those already but I was working on the fourth one the last one today and decided I'm not going to do it it's not for me um because I got I'll show you it's this one I'll show you the picture okay that's the reference so I got to the part of doing the actual tulips and the way the pattern is written for the tulip section my tulip is not tuliping like it's not doesn't look the same and it doesn't quite the instructions are really unclear so I spent about 45 minutes trying to figure it out then I realized it's not worth the hassle because I'm gonna sell these coaster sets for $15 and if it's that hard to do one goddamn flower I'm not doing this so also found out that the flowers are not connected so I would have to attach okay cut and then reattach for every single one of these and there's 19 by the way that is 19 attaching and reattachings all that I'm gonna have to weave in on top of the color changes from the actual coaster part so it's like that is way too much weaving in that is way too much attaching reattaching especially since the flower just doesn't look right like I can't figure it out so we're cutting ties and moving on essentially the other three in the pattern were amazing and I'm planning on making, I don't know, I, I've gotten some advice to make four of each of them because they're going to be really good sellers. But I am i don't know how many people are going to be at this event. I don't know how big of an event it is. So I'm like, do I really need to make four of them? But I'm planning on doing events throughout the year, so I might as well just make four of them each. So that's 12 total and I only have three done. So I am going to go back and make more stock of things, but right now I'm kind of just looking for patterns and testing things out I'm um, making one of everything just to see what I like and then I'll go back and make stock but decided this one sucks not gonna do it um, I bought another pattern when I bought that bundle I got it was on Etsy it's another coaster one but for this one it's not a set so I'm gonna make a bunch of th these flowers gorgeous bunch of different colored flowers like this coasters and I'm going to sell them $3 each. So if someone lives alone, they can buy one. And if someone wants four, they can buy four or three or three, whatever. But I'm just going to have a bunch of different colors laying out. And it's, they're $3 each. So pick as many as you want. Make your make your own set, essentially. Because the other ones are pre-made sets. So these ones will be make your own set. I made one just to test the pattern. It's gorgeous. It turned out adorable. I love it. I will be making more and selling these ones at my market. But... That, I've done all the patterns I bought um, at the beginning of the week, so I'm on the hunt for something new. Now, with that being said, I think we're going to tackle this. We're going to tackle this today, but I discovered something. Okay, so I was searching. I want to do a lot of plants because it's a marching into spring, so I'm doing plants and flowers and things. Plus, I just like plants, and I, I don't have a green thumb, so I like fake plants, so I'm going to crochet some. Well... There are hanging plants, and then there's, like, the potted amigurumi plants that you can make. Um, the only issue I have with the potted amigurumi plants is that they're usually just full of stuffing, so they don't stay flat and they don't stay upright. They, they fall over really easily. So I looked into it at what things I can do to make them kind of, like, bottom-heavy. The hanging ones don't really matter because they're hanging, but the bottom-heavy amigurumi-like plants that I want to make. I want to make cactuses, cacti. I want to make succulents. I want to make, you know, a bunch of different kinds. So I looked into it and it said to get poly pellets, which are basically like weight, you know, when you have a stuffed animal and it sounds like a hacky sack and a hacky sack, those beads, those heavy beads that are in there. So I bought this on Amazon because I didn't want to go all the way to Joann's for one thing. Um, and I know if I walk into Joann's for one thing, I walk out with a bunch of stuff. So I ordered these on Amazon. Thought the bag was bigger. The bag is kind of small. But from my research, less is more. So it shouldn't take a lot to weigh down the plants. But I don't know. So I might have to get more. But I'm hoping not. Because this bag was like $14. So expensive. So and then the other thing was to get um, knee-high pantyhose. Because what you do... So I just got some like great value. I think it's 10 pairs. Which means... 20 socks knee high 
nylon socks what you do is you take the nylon sock and you put the beads in it and you tie a knot and then it's like a little bean bag and that's what goes in the bottom of your thing so we're gonna be attempting that today but I'm gonna walk you through it and I'm, I'll let you know how much I end up using per thing it's gonna be a whole experiment because I can't find a single pattern or like a video to tell me how much to use so it's gonna be a whole little experiment so I'm gonna hunt for a plant pattern I want to use and then we gotta we gotta crochet everything but before we figure the bead thing out but I just want to let you know that's where we're at right now we're gonna experiment with some weighted beads and amigurumi plants this is my assistant she's um not very helpful but she does like to cuddle and encourage me to take a nap so all right so I found these two patterns on this one it's 12 plants three of them are hanging car hanging plants because that's also on my list to try so I'm gonna try both of these patterns so we've gotten to the point where it's time to figure out the weighted thing I showed you earlier so I know I said that I think I don't know if I already said it but I think the ones where I'm gonna need the weight is in the potted plants amigurumi because I need them to sit up but I actually started making a hanging plant first because I was more excited about that and it's like I got the basket done and the problem I'm having is the fact that it's so light that like it's twisting and I don't really like that so when I put a little weight in it it doesn't twist but as I continue down the pattern, you basically make this like ball of soil. I stopped because I need to start, I need a, a bean bag that fits in here. But you basically make this and then you seal the top and this goes inside of it and your plant sews to that. So basically it's gonna be full of stuffing, which is not heavy enough to keep it from twisting. So I decided that I'm gonna try the weighted pellets in this one, even though, it, I mean, who is to tell me I can't do that? But I just feel like there needs to be more weight in the basket so it doesn't twist. And I'm a little worried about it being too light when I'm hanging it on my, like, booth. And if the wind blows a little too hard, I don't want those things, like, flipping around. So, we're going to put a little bit in that. So, I stopped halfway through the pattern so that I, will, I can fit it in. We've got, we've got poly pellets. Now again, everywhere I've read says less is more, so that's the goal here. Um, I stole this one fourth cup scoop from the kitchen. Sorry, mom. I'll put it back if I remember to. Um, and then I got a baggie to put the pellets in after I opened the bag because I don't want them getting anywhere. I have four cats. They don't need to be eating this. Here's our funnel. I didn't buy a funnel, so I'm gonna make a funnel with paper. Um, oh, and then I got the pantyhose. So. We only need one, there's 10 pairs, so 20 socks. So we only need one. So I'm gonna pull one out, perfect. And then you're supposed to basically funnel it into it. So let me just make a funnel. Pretty sure you just make a funnel by like twisting it, right? Into like a cone, kind of like when you were a kid and you made like telescopes so like this and then I kind of bunch the sock up around it perfect okay so now that's in there and then let's open this bag okay so I have a one-fourth scoop I'm gonna put the one-fourth scoop in and see how it feels I just I don't know I don't this shit's so expensive like when I bought this bag i think it was like 14 dollars, and let me tell you i thought i was buying a huge bag i did not think i was buying this small teeny tiny bag so i need to make it last so less is more and then we just have to remember how many scoops i did for all the other ones okay okay i transferred it into a ziploc bag it looks like more when it's in a ziploc bag all right Let's do one, one, one fourth scoop and just see. Oh, I don't want to get any of these on the floor. Okay, one, one fourth scoop. 
Now, it's going to have to be heavier than this. Let's do two scoops. <gasps> I dropped one. Got it. Now this, this feels a little heavier. I don't know. Oh, dummy, why don't I just put it in it? Okay, so without it, see how it's kind of twisting? So let's untwist it and put it in. And let go. Okay, that's enough weight. See how it's not twisting anymore? And then watch, I'm gonna pull it out. Twisting, okay. Put it in. No twisting. Okay, two scoops. It's doing exactly what I thought it would do. Perfect! Okay, so now that we've got our two scoops in, basically you just tie a knot. This looks so funny, but you just tie like a knot like this to keep it from coming apart. And then what I'm going to do with the extra is wrap the extra. I'm going to go back down over it with the extra like this and kind of, I'm just worried it's going to like pop. And crochet has holes so like if this thing pops it's gonna go through the thing but so I'm basically just wrapping it in on the extra and then I could I could even do another knot with the leftover okay this thing is not going anywhere it would have to break through two times so two one-fourth scoops perfect little weighted ball and then I didn't even check to see this but it just goes in here and then you add your stuffing around it. And now your soil's weighted. Oh my god, this is literally perfect. So exciting. Two scoops, and we still have so much left. So, perfect. I'm putting the scoop in the bag. Mom, if you're watching this and you're looking for your one-fourth scoop, remind me. It's in my bag. I'll give it to you. I don't know why I was worried. I think I was just worried I was going to have to put, like, a lot of beads in or something. Don't know. But it worked out. Okay, so now I'm going to finish the rest of that hanging plant now that I got the weight done but now we know uh okay for hanging plants we just need two scoops but for the sitting ones I we might have to do another scoop we'll just have to see when I get to that point I'll um I'll come back and we'll do two scoops and see what it does oh my god why does my tv keep starting I finished the string of pearls plant and the weight in the plant is literally perfect. I love it. It took way longer than I thought it would, so I don't really know where to price it. As far as like sizing goes, it's like, I don't know if it's in my hand. I don't know. I'd say like 20, 30. Oh, God, I have no idea. All right, so ignore the bird in the background. That thing talks all the time. Um. Anyway, anytime he hears me talking, he's like, oh my god, another human, and he starts talking. Um, oh, fuck, what was I gonna say? Oh, okay, I just finished, uh, filming a YouTube video, uh, 50 crochet idea video. I'm not gonna say what it is, because I don't know when this is coming out, but, um, I am dressed, and putting my Aphrodite necklace on. I try and wear it every day, but I can't sleep in it, because... My hair will get tangled in it. Um, anyway, it's cold outside, so I'm wearing a crew neck. I'm wearing my favorite jeans I showed you the other day and my knockoff Uggs again. Um, but we are going to go on a supply run because I showed you guys, I think like the last time we checked in, I finished that string of pearls plant and it's gorgeous, but I haven't made anything since because everything I want to make, I don't have the right color for. So, and I don't have the right kind, like um, the car, the hanging car charms they are um you have to have super fine yarn and i don't have any super fine yarn i only have weight four and like weight three so i gotta go get yarn for that i'm also running out of colors for the coasters i made i'm gonna have to restock them so like i need more of that basically we're going on a supply run okay i'm losing my phone constantly so my list we need greens tan yellow I need a shade of green between the hunter green and the frosty green because I only have like light green or really dark green. I need like a neutral green color. Um, I need 100% cotton for pot holders. And I need more of these like sugar and cream skeins 
for washcloths because I want to do, I saw this really cute washcloth packaging. I want to do it. Um, I need colors for cute pandanas. I need a plant pot color, if that makes sense. Um, and then I need, oh, I was going to look for like baskets and like display items and stuff. Um, for my like booth, like a wire basket or something. And then, um, if there's something Valentine's related for the February giveaway, I was going to pick it up, but that's like a hit or miss. I've been like getting my giveaway items from like a bunch of places. Um, but I'm like, since I'll be there, I think I want the February giveaway to be Valentine's themed. Um, and so I think I'm going to go see if they have any cute Valentine's stuff there, but we're only, oh, we're not only going to Joanne's. We have to go to the post office and drop January's giveaway because I announced the giveaway winner today and I got the address so I have packed it up and I'm gonna go drop it at the post office on my way to Joann's. Let's go on a supply run. I'm gonna get the Diet Coke, like I'm going to. So, um, I just finished over at Joann's. I don't know if you can see it, it's in the back, but I got this giant tote bag full of yarn, fun. It was so expensive. I did end up saving like 70 bucks or no, no, 30 bucks um, with coupons and like deals and stuff. It was a massive yarn haul and I'm not planning on doing another one coming up to this market. So like that's basically all the yarn I need for this market in theory, hopefully. Um, and then I actually, I'll show you everything I got, but yeah. But now we're waiting in line for a Diet Coke. Hopefully they have a Diet Coke because, uh, McDonald's Diet Coke to be specific, but hopefully they have one because the last time I waited in line, got all the way to the window and they were like, we don't have any Diet Coke right now. And I was like, well, but what are you here for other than Diet Coke? I thought I had a cute conversation with the lady behind me in Joanne's, but it turns out she was not being nice. She was like, oh my God, you have so much yarn. What is all that for? And I was like, oh, I'm prepping for a market and I always have this conversation with someone there because I always go like once a month and get a bunch of shit and she was like you have so much stuff and I was like yeah like it's just one it was like a cart full of yarn and she, I was like yeah like I have a market coming up and I'm trying to like prepare for it and she's like oh my god that's so exciting I only have two items can I cut you because yours is gonna take a long time and I was like oh sure imagine if I was just like no <laughs> I said, sure, you can cut me. Even though now I'm sitting here going, you only asked what my yarn was for to lead away the conversation to asking to cut me in line. So you actually don't care what it's for. I should have said no, but I didn't. This does not taste like Diet Coke. I wasn't joking when I said a full tote bag. Let's do a haul. All right, so I got these colors for like the pot, planted pot colors. These thingies, cute little like spring decor you stab into the grass. I got them because I thought my mom, my mom might want them. And then I got these for mine and Dylan's podcast, Valentine's episode. And then I got more green for plants. More green, more yellow for sunflowers, more green. Then I got more of the dirt color, again, for the plants. So these are all for the stuff I've already made, and I'm going to have to make more of, or just plant stuff. I picked up a giveaway item. I don't know if it's going to be February's, but it might be, this yarn bowl. And then I got 100% cotton because I want to make pot holders. So I got these two because I want to make a sunny side up pot holder. And then I got some red and blues to make pie pot holders. Now I got this color for the pie. I want a darker color. So I think I got this color for the pie and then I got this as like a backup I think. Yeah I did. This is like my backup pie color. I don't know I just think it's too dark. Um, and then I got more green for plants. And then I got these. Are these acrylic? No, these are cotton. Okay. These little ones were on sale. So I'm trying to do washcloths. I'll show you the picture I found. But 
someone like packaged washcloths so cute so i'm gonna do that so i got some colors for washcloths these ones and then i got some i couldn't find super fine weight yarns so i literally had to settle with weight three um but it's just gonna have to do i'm gonna make the um car charms with these ones i got four i got these for like sunflowers daisies and then the pot and then the plants so i figured i didn't need that many of them just because they're small so i just got one of each and then i forgot what i got this for what did i get this for maybe i got this to go with these to sh oh yeah i was gonna try this out if these were too thick this was like my backup for this because i have another backup green already here and that's all the yarn i got here's the haul amazing amazing so yeah i think this is going to be our february giveaway item because i have a march giveaway item and that's about it so <laughs> i think this is going to be our february one it's very sturdy very well made okay so this is obviously a mess very unorganized and my other cubbies over here and i still have to put all this away so i was going to do like a cute little i was going to do a cute little like organize my yarn with me and then I realized I really don't want to do that. So I'm going to put all of it into one of the Tupperware bins I bought the other day for the yarn, for the stuff I make for the market. So I'm just going to fill one, keep it organized the way it's organized, just in here. And we'll just use it as we use it. It's all organized and less stressful. It looks like way less yarn once it's in the bin, but... Alright, we're in my bathroom. We're going to do a little skincare and chat really quick. Even though last time I put me doing something for like six minutes that wasn't crochet related in a crochet with me vlog, like 50 people had a fit in the comments. So don't have a fit. I'm talking to you. And we're also doing my skincare routine. I want to go get comfy and crochet. And I can't do that with makeup on my face. Kind of makes me want to crawl out of my skin. So look at this headband I got <laughs> my skincare. I'm going to put this on. Um, anyway. I want to chat with you a little bit about something that I posted on my Instagram story. All my hair has to do is get caught once and then I'm like, the necklace is off. <laughs> like, I don't care about laughing on that much. Anyway, my headband on. My snail headband. Anyway, I posted on my Instagram story about a GoFundMe for a family member. Um, a family member passed away very recently, a couple days ago, and they just needed some help with funeral funds and stuff so i posted the gofund i cannot believe i'm talking about this with fucking snail ears on my head anyway um i posted the gofundme and you guys really helped out so i just wanted to say thank you um she wasn't close to me very close to me but she was very very close to my mother so it hit our family pretty hard um so i just want to say thank you to everybody who donated and had the means to donate if you didn't i totally understand i um just posted like if you have the means to throw some money that way, like, please, if you consider. But thank you to everybody who sent money, basically. My mom was very grateful. She messaged me, oh, when I have makeup on, uh, we're just going to start the skincare, okay? <laughs> I'm kind of doing all the talking and none of the skincare. Um, if I have makeup on, I start with an ordinary oil-based cleanser. And then I do a set of fill cleanser after but if i don't have makeup on i just start with this and then i ignore this so but i do have makeup on so let's do a little bit just do a little bit and then i rub it to warm it up anyway my mom is grateful and she messaged me um about posting it and was like oh my god thank you blah blah, blah. anyway thank you to everybody who sent money or condolences and dm me and stuff it's very sweet and i appreciate it i have been like not like depressed but like not really in the best mood the last couple days i think i like oh i have medical insurance now so it's kind of a slay so i'll probably be uh going to the doctor this year <laughs> but um i've been researching i think i might have pndd because I feel like I just get like my mood is not at a normal low before my period. It's at like an insane 72 hour hold low. And I don't know if that's like common. Um, if you have PMDD, can you tell me if that, I mean, you don't have to, but like, should I go get checked for that or not? And then I just dab dry. Like, 
anybody else would. I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know why I'm doing this. Literally not a single person was like, Paige, your skin is so clear. Can I see your skincare routine? No one gives up. No one cares. Literally no one cares. But here I am. <sighs> anyway. You know what it is? It's the January blues, okay? I'm just so, I'm just sad. I don't know why. I know I look happy. I always look happy. I'm a good performer, but okay, I'm dry. I'm gonna put this on my face. This is Hyaluronic Acid Drops, also from Ordinary. Ever since I started doing the Ordinary three-step, like, I live by this. I was just doing Cetaphil and CeraVe, and I switched to the three daily set or whatever. I got it for Christmas. So I've been using it and like, oh, my skin is so much better. Like I'm not getting hormonal breakouts anymore. I get like one breakout here or there, but I was like back to back getting break breakouts before this stuff. So it works. What was I saying? Oh, I was watching one of my favorite YouTubers, um, The Unexpected Gypsy. I'll link her down below. She's so creative and I love watching, well, I watch every single video she posts, but I especially love watching when she, when I'm, like, not feeling super motivated um, or creative because she just, like, motivates me to create. <sighs> With that being said, the reason I said January blues is because she just posted a video about the January blues and, like, how it's really common, at least for her and, like, people she knows, to just kind of want to, like, cozy up and, like huddle in you know um during january and just kind of feel overall sadder i guess and that is definitely me right now we're hitting the end of january and ugh, i don't know last night i was like so sad and then i checked my period tracker app and it was like you're gonna start bleeding in six days and i was like oh oh that's why nothing seems worth it <laughs> I'm like I want to change everything I'm doing and I hate everything about everything um, but anyways I've been feeling the January blues so I'm trying to get rid of them and part of that is a skincare routine so I'm doing it but can y'all let me know if the January blues are a thing for you I mean when this comes out it's probably gonna be February but like I don't know is it normal do I need to go to the doctor? Like, what is going on? Anyway, I rub gently, gently, not hard. I rub this hyaluronic acid in, and while it dries, we drink Diet Coke. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Once the hyaluronic acid's dry, I use the Ordinary Moisturizer, which is just part of the three steps. I'm an easy gal. I need three steps, that's it. You add more than three steps, I won't do it. Also, I literally love my headband. <laughs> I love it. It's a snail if you haven't put that together yet. You know times are rough. Like, okay, you know like most of the time when people get sad, they like stay in their house and they don't go anywhere. Okay, that's my normal. My normal is staying in my house, not going anywhere, unless it's work. When I'm sad, I'm like going everywhere. I'm like, okay, I need to basically do things and, and be constantly doing something so that I have no thoughts, no thoughts enter my head. <laughs> so if I'm leaving the house every day, which I have been the last week, if I'm leaving, leaving the house every day and going and doing random things, it's bad. <laughs> Our skincare is done. And now we can go crochet. He won't leave me alone. I'm not complaining though, he's really cute. But I decided what I'm gonna crochet. Can you guess just by these two colors? I'm gonna make, let me show you what I found. I'm gonna make this sunny side up. It's a free pattern I found. I'm done buying patterns, at least for now. I'm like so over it. So I found this. I literally just Google searched sunny side up uh, pot holder, but it's on garnstudio.com. I'll link it down below. But it's literally like the whole pattern. And I'm just gonna, um, I am gonna use a different hook size. Ow, he's biting my hand. Anyway, I ordered Taco Bell, and now we're gonna get to crocheting, but this kind of reminded me of this movie I watched last night. While I'm making things, I'm also like making my way through a list of movies that I'm trying to watch, and one of them was 500 Days of Summer. And let me just tell you, the movie was not worth the hype. I watched it because of Zoe Deschanel and I love New Girl, 
it was not worth the hype. I probably will never watch it again, and that means it was a bad movie. I also watched A Team, loved that. Bradley Cooper is so fine. That movie was really good. What else did I watch? Oh, I watched Aaron Brockovich. I liked it. I liked it. I would have liked it more if I didn't go into it thinking it was a romantic comedy. It's not a romantic comedy. It's like actually very devastating, but it was a good movie though. 10 out of 10 for that one. Okay, so I made the pot holder. The only thing is it doesn't lay flat and I don't know why. I followed the pattern to a T and it literally will not lay flat. So I'm going to try and like, like it's like so close, but it just won't lay flat. So I'm going to try and steam it and see if that helps at all. But overall, I really liked making it. But if I can't make it flat, then I can't sell them. So I'm going to go try and steam it. All right, y'all. Looks like the steamer made it flat. So it, I mean, for the most part. <laughs> um, but I mean, it's flat enough to work. So we've got a sunny side up egg pot holder. I'm not quite ready to call it a night. So I'm going to try and do the um, hanging car plants. I got this yarn today for it specifically. So I'm going to see if this yarn isn't super fine, but it's weight three. So it's less than weight four. So I'm going to try and see if it'll do the trick or if I'm going to have to go shopping for more yarn. All right, so I've run into an issue with this hanging plant thing. So I used these two, um, or I guess this one, to make the basket. And, like, it's fine. It is a heavier weight than suggested, but it's not, like, ginormous. Like, it's, like, less in my hand. Like, I think I'm going to, when I'm done, I'm going to go put it in the car and see what it looks like if it's too big, but... The basket went smoothly, okay? Then I made the soil. I made the soil, and the soil is literally, like, way too small. It's supposed to fill up the basket, okay? So, I switched brands, because I didn't have this in brown. So, I used this. But, it's the same company, and the same yarn weight. They're both weight 3. But they are literally completely different. Like, the thickness of this one compared to the thickness of this one. This one's thinner, which is why I ended up with a freaking tiny ass soil. So I can't use the soil for this one. Um, but I'm going to save it in case this ends up being too big. Then I know I can make it out of the this yarn, the True Boo yarn. And it'll probably be perfect size. Because I didn't realize, even though they're the same weight, it is thinner. Like, it literally works up thinner. So, this is my backup. But now I have to find... I had to find a brown yarn that's, like, basically could make soil big enough. So, I'm going to try this yarn. It's weight 4. Yeah, this is weight 3, but it literally works up, like, weight 4. Like, I don't know why there's such a big difference. They're the same thing. Oh, it's so annoying. So I'm going to try making the soil with this and see if it fills it better. If not, then I'm just going to scratch this one completely and make one completely out of the true boo. So we'll see. Okay, so the other yarn I tried definitely made a bigger soil. So let's see. Mm, okay. I mean, it's not perfect, but I think it'll do. I think it'll do for now, but... Yeah, I mean, I'll just have to use it. I don't know. Now that I'm, like, looking at it together, it kind of looks too big to be a car hanger. I don't know. Okay, we'll have to see when it's done in an actual car. So, I am going to save this just in case I need to make it smaller. But, I'm going to move on to the leaves. I finished the hanging plant. I only did three vines of three leaves because, I don't know, I just don't really want to do any more. And I think less is more. Also, I think it's already really big. So, I'm going to go, um out to one of the cars and just put it on a mirror and see what it looks like. I think it's really cute. I kind of love how it turned out. <laughs> okay, it is nighttime, but I'm in my car and I put it on the mirror and it's kind of like the perfect length. Do you think it needs more leaves or no? No. I think it's good. Perfect. Originally, I wasn't going to make any like um, washcloths or anything, but I came across this picture on Pinterest of the way that this creator like branded like packaged i was gonna say branded i guess branded and packaged their washcloths and it that picture alone i was like okay i want to sell washcloths i think it's because 
I couldn't imagine like how to put a washcloth on my table and make it look like, hey, yeah, pay $8 for this washcloth um, until I saw that branding and I was like, okay, yeah, I need to do that. So I ended up buying like a bunch of 100% um, cotton like little skeins and I made a washcloth today. It's like a perfect square. It's adorable. I love the color, but I made one to fold it up and kind of see dimension wise how to do that product packaging I, sh I saw but in my own brand kind of way um so we finished one and now I'm gonna like fold it up and measure it and I think I'm gonna use Canva because I pay for Canva for like my YouTube stuff so I'm gonna use Canva to try and like design something and I'll show you what I end up with all right so this is kind of what I came up with I measured I folded the um I folded it up in like a square and then I measured kind of like where I could have the brand on and I made this on Canva and then I basically printed it on a landscape paper so that I can fold this onto the back like this, that kind of thing. Um, I don't know how I'm gonna attach it. I'm thinking probably tape would be the easiest, but yeah. And I cut straight lines. I have one of those little peacher cutter board things. So I just ended up, you can do four per page. So I just printed these just to test them out, but I'm gonna um, attach it and see if it looks good. Okay. This ended up being so cute. And it's just like one piece of tape. And it keeps it together and it's like adorable. I love this and I'm going to make a bunch more. And then just kind of have them like lined up on my table. That is so cute. I just made this blue cardigan. And it's completely unrelated to the market. I'm not selling it. But my grandma asked me like right around last time I visited her around Christmas time to make her one. And she picked the color. She wanted it long. She asked me to make her one and I have been working on it slowly throughout the weeks just like whenever i had time and i finally finished it and i steamed it so i wanted to show you guys because like this is a crochet channel finished it and i steamed it and it's long it's long like she wants and it's like literally perfect i've like perfected hexacardigans i don't know how i did it but i did it i've made like I think four now but every single time i like perfect it a little more i'm getting way more used to like how much steaming affects the stitches and like i'm coming out with perfect arm lengths and everything so yay yes i'm in a christmas nightgown okay ignore it anyway i'm gonna end this video here because i feel like i've got like a good amount of footage and i don't want this video to be like way too long i think it's like a week of crocheting so um, anyway, thank you for watching. Comment down below what you made while watching this video. And don't forget to subscribe so you can see the future crochet with me series of preparing for this market. And other than that, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. I love you. Bye.